Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Daily Fresh Manna. We continue with our theme, which is the last day for May of 2024. The Lord is our shepherd. Today's message is hope in the Lord, for his love is unfailing. Our scripture is found in Psalm 25, verses 5 and 6. Hope in the Lord, for his love is unfailing. Psalm 25, verse 5 says, Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me all day long. I put my hope in you. Verse 6. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and unfailing love, which you have shown from long ages past. For God is the only one that saves us from eternal destruction. We look to him for guidance to lead us and to keep us on this path of righteousness in this earthly journey that we walk. We look to him daily and we place our hope in him. And we trust, we trust in his unfailing love. God's unfailing love is deeper, wider, higher than we can imagine. It is vast and beyond understanding or comprehension. David is expressing his desire for guidance. We cannot be led without asking or having it in our hearts to be led by God. We must want God's guidance. There must be in us a place where we know that if God guides us, we will be all right. Some people may feel that they do not need God. They may be highly educated and may be entrepreneurs and may own much wealth, have everything that they need. So they feel no reason to call on a higher power unless unless something throws them off of their grandstand, such as illness, sickness, or someone they love is in trouble, or even death. Some people come to God the hard and the long way, the hard way, as they see, they have to see the salvation of the Lord in the land of the living. Some people must see to believe, so they take the rough road of experiences through troubled waters. But other people hear and submit their heart to the truth of God. They believe without seeing. For them, it is growth by faith, by faith, by faith, faith to faith to faith. Following God is a hunger and a thirst for his presence and his word the vast knowledge and wisdom that is found between the pages of the Bible. As we read the word, you will come to know his character, his unfailing love that he has for his children. You will find that if you follow him, you will always be living in victory. He will fight your battles for you. And even in the rough times, he will make a way before you in the presence of your enemies. As you read, you will find out that God's character is that he is a jealous God. And he will not let you have any little G's before him or any idols. He is full of compassion and unfailing love. And God attributes, his attributes is that he is holy. He is almighty. He is Lord God Almighty. He is righteous. He is pure. He is all-knowing and all-powerful and all-wise. When we regard God correctly, we gain a clearer picture of ourselves, how sinful, weak, and frail, and needy that we are. But when we recognize who God is and who we are, we will fall at his feet in humble respect and adoration. Only then will he show us how to choose his way. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Praise God. As we look at these lyrics today that I'm going to read into your hearing, I want you to know that the writer, her name is Miranda Curtis, and she wrote this song, You Are My Strength. 
because of the fact that she went through something. She went through some things, and she found herself in a place where she was nothing she could do. She was in despair. She was hopeless, and she had hit rock bottom bottom, and didn't know where to turn. It was during this time that Miranda turned to God and found solace in his love and his grace. She realized that even in her darkest moments, God was there providing her with the strength to carry on. This realization inspired her to write the song, You Are My Strength, which is a testament to the meaning behind You Are My Strength. Glory to God. The lyrics of You Are My Strength are simple yet powerful, and they speak directly to the soul. The song is a declaration of faith in God's love and grace and a recognition that without him we are nothing. The first verse of the song says, You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other reaches to me. This is a powerful statement of faith, acknowledging that God's strength is greater than anything we can ever imagine. It is a reminder that even in our weakest moments, God is there to lift us up and provide us with the strength we need to carry on. The second verse of the song says, you are my hope, hope like no other reaches to me. This verse is a testament to the power of hope in our lives and the role that God plays in providing us with that hope. It is a reminder that no matter how difficult our circumstances may be, God is there, always there, always hope in God's love and his grace. The lyrics are, into your hearing, you are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other reaches to me. You are my hope, hope like no other, hope like no other reaches to me. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up, you lift me up, you are my peace, peace like no other, peace like no other reaches to me. You are my hope, Hope like no other, hope like no other reaches to me. Unfailing love, stronger than the mountains, deeper than the ocean, reaches to me. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Amen, and praise the Lord, and we say amen, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for blessing us, O oh Lord God, today and realizing, O oh Lord God, hallelujah, about your unfailing love. May we trust you, O oh Lord God. May we look unto you to lead us and to guide us, O oh Lord God, that we, Heavenly Father, know that we are your children called by your name, walking in your grace and your mercy and your love. May we, O oh Lord God, be strengthened today. Heavenly Father, may we know that you lead us by your truth and you, you teach us, you, for you are the God who saves us, the only God that can save us. So all day long, Father, we put our hope in you and we remember, Heavenly Father, that your compassion and your unfailing love, which you have shown to all from long ages past, is with us. We thank you, Father, for your unfailing love that will never, ever leave us or forsake us. Bless us this day. Strengthen us, O Lord God, unto all righteousness. And God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Have a blessed weekend, and the blessings of the Lord be upon you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God.